Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts and today's video is about galactosemia. This condition is seen in persons who are not able to transform galactose to glucose. So they cannot metabolize galactose. But galactose is required for the formation of important compounds like glycolipids, glycoproteins, glycosaminoglycans and the formation of lactose during lactation. And this galactose is exclusively metabolized in the liver. Coming to types of galactosemia, there are three types. Type 1 is classical and it is a severe form of galactosemia. Type 2 and type 3 are the non-classical and they are milder forms of the galactosemia. Coming to the first one, type 1 or classical galactosemia, the cause for this condition is, it is due to deficiency of an enzyme called as galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase. And this particular enzyme is required for the conversion of galactose 1-phosphate into the UDP galactose and glucose 1-phosphate. This is the severe form of galactosemia because of toxic effect of galactose 1-phosphate. And the enzyme deficiency is because of mutation in the gene which codes for this galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase that is mutation in the GALT, GAL gene. And this condition is inherited as autosomal recessive condition. And the features of this condition are galactosemia, there is increased levels of galactose in the blood, galactosuria, galactose is excreted in the urine, cataract is formed in these conditions because accumulated galactose is converted into galactitol that is its alcohol form by the action of enzyme aldose reductase. And this galactitol is osmotically active. Galactitol cannot escape from the lens due to its osmotic effect. It damages the lens and causes cataract. And the other reason for the cataract is excess galactose inhibits glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. In short, it is called as G6PD. So whenever this enzyme is inhibited, it leads to decreased production of NADPH. This NADPH is actually used for the synthesis of or for the formation of reduced glutathione. And this glutathione in turn is required to maintain the integrity of the membrane and it prevents the accumulation of hydrogen peroxide in a cell. So deficiency of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase leads to decreased formation of reduced glutathione which is actually responsible for reducing the levels of hydrogen peroxide in a cell. Coming to next feature, mental retardation and liver damage. These are due to accumulation of galactose and galactose 1-phosphate in cerebral cortex and liver. Jaundice, bilirubin uptake and bilirubin conjugation is reduced whenever liver is damaged. So, unconjugated bilirubin levels are increased in the blood which leads to jaundice. And the reason for the hypoglycemia is it is due to accumulation of galactose 1-phosphate. So this compound inhibits glycogen phosphorylase and phosphoglucomutase. These two enzymes are involved in glycogenolysis which supplies glucose by degrading glycogen. So glycogenolysis is breakdown of glycogen to glucose. And coming to amino aciduria, galactose 1-phosphate may get deposited in the renal tubules. So whenever it deposits in the renal tubules, it damages those tubules which leads to excretion of amino acids in the urine. So that is called as the amino aciduria. Coming to diagnosis, the clinical manifestations like cataract and galactose in the urine, increased levels of galactose in the blood will help in the diagnosis of galactosemia. Treatment is by uh, restricting the diet which contains galactose and lactose. So basically you have to provide galactose and lactose free diet. If lactose is withdrawn from the diet, most of the symptoms will recede. But if mental retardation is established, it cannot be reversed. It will not improve even when you withdraw the galactose and lactose from the diet. Now coming to second type of galactosemia, that is type 2 galactosemia. And the cause is it is due to deficiency of galactokinase. Mutation in the gene, that is GALK1 gene, which codes for galactokinase, leads to this type 2 galactosemia and this is also inherited as autosomal recessive condition 
coming to features here also galactosemia that is increased levels of galactose in the blood excretion of galactose in the urine and cataract formation are seen but it is a milder condition when compared with the type 1 because here the toxic compound galactose 1 phosphate is not formed so only galactose is formed here coming to third type that is type 3 galactosemia and the reason for this condition is due to defect in the enzyme that is UDP galactose 4 epimerase and this is again because of mutation in the gene which codes for this enzyme that is gale gene here are the symptoms of this condition also similar to the type 2 galactosemia this is also a milder condition like type 2 galactosemia 